So only yesterday in Mob Games Discord server, we got a bunch of new information from the devs about Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, the villain for the game, what the prototype might actually look like, new characters that will be in Chapter 4, and more news about Poppy Playtime in general. So if you don't know by now, Zach Bellinger is pretty much the main guy in Mob Games Discord server. He pretty much shares all the newest Poppy Playtime information, and he gives us hints and clues for the next game of Poppy Playtime. He's usually where I get most of the news from on my channel. And the last thing he said in there was over 15 days ago about graphic novels. But now finally, he's posted tons of new messages that we can learn about Chapter 4. And I have actually a lot to talk about today. First, he was just saying random things about Chapter 4 and new Poppy Playtime games. And then he decided to do an AMA, which is pretty much an Ask Me Anything, where he got asked tons of questions about characters that he likes and dislikes, and lots of questions about Chapter 4 and the prototype. But I'm done wasting your time, let's start. So if you guys can remember back to when I said his last chat was over 15 days ago, people in the Discord mentioned that he's been gone for a while, and then he said, never left, never gonna leave like that silly MatPat. If you don't know, which you probably already do, MatPat, a pretty popular theorist YouTuber, has retired last weekend. But now let's get into the actual interesting messages. So first, which is one of the big ones, he said, you guys are gonna love the stuff we're working on. Now notice how he didn't say chapter four, he said stuff. I think he is talking about chapter four, but he's also talking about a lot of other things. People in the Discord server theorize that he might be talking about the graphic novels that they're working on. We don't know when those are coming out, hopefully this year, but I think that they are in the works now. And then obviously chapter four. And then I think something else he could be talking about is the next project playtime phase. The last phase we got was way before chapter three came out and we haven't got another one in a while. So they're probably working on that as well. And we can't forget about the Poppy Playtime movie, which is set to come out in the next few years. Zach Bellinger actually had some meetings with some movie studios recently. So the movie production could be starting very soon, if not now. But we do know that there is a lot going on in Mob Games right now. They're working on a ton of content for us. But yeah, then he said that he can't tell us what they're working on. And if he did, the marketing department will be mad at him. If you don't know what the marketing department is, it's the people that make the trailers and teasers for the games. They pretty much convince you to buy the game or the movie or whatever they're doing. Now is when he decided to do the actual Ask Me Anything, which is where we get a lot of the more interesting messages. But first, someone asked, what Poppy Playtime character do you hate? And of all characters, he said Daisy the Flower. I don't know why we haven't really seen her in the games yet. It could be her voice. Or he could be hinting that she might be in the next game and she'll be really annoying. Or maybe there's some other reason for him hating her. And then next, Walter White asked, what's a character that made you terrified? And Zach Bellinger responded, the doctor with a winking emoji. If you don't know who the doctor is, that's the person that actually created the monsters in the factory in the first place. I don't know why that character terrified him. Maybe it's the lore or maybe the design of the character that we haven't seen yet. Maybe the doctor is the prototype. But I think that this is hinting that we'll get more lore about the doctor because we don't know a lot about him right now. The only reason we even know about him is from some letters that we found in chapter two. I don't think we saw him at all in chapter three. So I think chapter four is when we should really start to focus on the lore heavy characters, like the prototype, the doctor, Elliot Ludwig. But anyways, the next one is just as big. Someone asked, are you guys going for more practical effects or CGI overhaul stuffs? I don't know if he's referring to the movie, like how in the FNAF movie, the animatronics were practical instead of CGI, which means they are real robots. And he said, hopefully a combination like we did for Mommy commercial in chapter two. I think the Mommy Longley's commercial in chapter two was perfect. So they should go for something like that in the movie. But I do think in the movie, they should use some CGI because I don't really know how practical Huggy Wuggy would look. If we really wanted to know, we could just look at their merch and... Yeah, for the movie, they should definitely go for a different design. But anyways, moving on to the next question. Number one Dog Day fan said, I don't know if you're able to answer this or if this was already answered on another date, but do y'all already know how Poppy Playtime's final chapter is meant to end? And Zach Bellinger responded almost immediately and said, we know with a winking emoji. So this brings up a lot of questions. Have they known ever since chapter one or did they just plan it recently? But now this does answer a lot of questions about the theme park that we saw in chapter three. In Poppy Playtime chapter three, there was a poster on the wall that we haven't seen before. And it was mentioning a Playtime Co theme park. But now since they already know how the series is gonna end and most likely what happens in the series, they have probably already had the theme park planned for a while. Same with the play care. And I'm not sure if they know all of the lore right now. They most likely do if they know what happens in the games. But anyways, the last chat that Zach Bellinger responded to said, Zach, give us a hint what the prototype looks like. I need to know. And Zach Bellinger responded and said, I would, but well, I'm gonna stop there with this one. And then he said he had to go and left. So for a long time, people had a theory that the prototype was just a hand and he didn't actually have a body. And maybe the reason that he collected Kissy Missy and Catnap's body was because he was trying to rebuild his body because for whatever reason, he just doesn't have one right now. But now this answers that he actually does have a body that we haven't seen yet. But it's still really weird that every time we see him, it's just a hand, even in the VHS tapes. And he looks like he definitely grew a lot ever since chapter two. Maybe he like ate or consumed mommy long legs and got bigger. Because as we can see in chapter two, his hand looks to be the height of us. But in chapter three, the hand 
head goes right through Catnap's mouth and it looks to be the size of Catnap. So I don't know if by chapter five or whenever we do end up fighting the prototype, he's gonna be enormous. But yeah, those were all of Zach Bellinger's chats, but I still have one more thing to talk about in this video, so don't click off just yet. But for whatever reason, the Poppy Playtime chapter one banner was changed about two weeks ago. And I will say it looks a lot better now. The background became more of a dark red than a bright red. But now for whatever reason, a couple days ago, they changed it again. The only main difference I see with this one is that it is a bit darker, but Huggy Wuggy's eyes are just big and black while his pupils are really small and white. But it's weird that they would change the chapter one banner twice before they changed the chapter two banner once. And I really think that the chapter two one could use an upgrade because now it looks nothing like the other two. But one more thing that I actually didn't plan on talking about in this video, but the reviews for the Roblox game Poppy Playtime Forever have been bad. Like Poppy Playtime News on Twitter said, due to the seamless cash grab and laziness of this game, causing it to have many lag spikes and bugs, it is sadly not enjoyable to play. I agree with him in saying that it has a lot of bugs and glitches. Not that they ruin the game, but it just kind of makes the experience worse. But when he says it's a cash grab, I don't really agree with him on that. The game is free, so they're not making you pay for it. But I'm not saying that Poppy Playtime is not making any money off this game and they're just doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. Yes, they still are making money, but at least they're not charging you. But I think because of the backlash, we can't expect an update from this game very soon. Hopefully just fixing the bugs and adding more content. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the news I had in this video. I recently hit 21,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And my goal is to hit 25,000 by the end of March. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and subscribe, that would mean a lot. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It would really help support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.